Final Jeopardy category today, advertising icons. What would be able to do I couldn't really tell, but was there a little bit of laughter there after Alex pointed out it wasn't a runaway for Buzzy? Welcome to the final wager. I'm Keith Williams. That was a very pivotal get for Sarah because now uh, we have one of these situations. So Sarah actually not only pulled herself into contention, but forces Buzzy into a tough choice here. If Ted doubles up, he's going to have 14-4, so if Buzzy, I gotta say it's kind of weird to have to do a little math tonight, uh, 1,600 and 1 to cover it, but if he gets it wrong, on the downside he'd have 11-2, uh, and that is exactly twice Sarah's amount, and uh, if Buzzy adds on that extra dollar, and he misses, and Ted misses, and Sarah gets it right, and Sarah wages everything, then he will lose by a dollar. So <clears throat> if I'm buzzy, I just go for the win. I can see the 1600 here. Here's why. I would go for the win. If Ted gets it right, then odds are good that Buzzy's also going to get it right. The odds that Buzzy and Ted both miss and Sarah's the only one who gets it right, not quite so good. So I would take things into my own hands here. Add the extra dollar. He's a good player. He doesn't need to go to a tiebreaker, although I'd probably put him at a slight advantage on the buzzer race. So Ted has to wager 7200 just in case Buzzy does offer him a tie. Sarah has to wager 5600 uh, I was confused because the Clue Crew was sitting around playing with a, a Amazon Echo. Oof, man. It's been a long day. Uh, the other thing is, Buzzy wager 16 on one gets it wrong. Ted misses. Sarah gets it right. There's a decent chance that Sarah doesn't wager everything here. Maybe she wagers 55.99 and they go to the tiebreaker. So that's just one more reason that I would skew in that direction. I'm glad Alex is picking up on Buzzy's habits. So I don't know, somehow I missed putting the top on. I would... Yeah, I guess I hope my brain works for Final Jeopardy. Tonight, uh, my track club had its first uh, 5K Summer Speed Series event. Starts at 7.10 p.m. And it's a 3.1 mile near loop of Prospect Park. And it was pretty hot today. And I wasn't even running and I was feeling the heat. God knows how some people were able to run just over 16 minutes for a 5K, which is absurd in any weather for most runners uh but yeah coming home and uh getting a decent game of jeopardy in the uh watching playboy for the articles or reading playboy for the articles you can't that's all you can do anymore they took out all the pornographic material why i'm just so confused right now why is wheel in black and white and uh, I can understand everyone's hesitancy to go, or to not answer that Lilio Kalani question. I'm sure they would have given some latitude on the pronunciation there. We're dealing with advertising icons, and here is the clue. This spokes animal, created in 1951, got a wife and a daughter, Antoinette, in the 1970s. 30 seconds, good luck. Antoine, Antoine sounds like Tony and Antoine. Antoine in French, Tony, whatever. Uh, so. Spokes Animal. It doesn't say it was a cereal, but that's where I'm immediately gonna go. I mean, it's not Toucan Sam, it's not Bucky. Is that a Lucky Charms clue? Very important part of the clue was the name of the daughter, Antoinette. Sarah, we come to you first. Were you able to come up with our advertising icon? No, it's going to cost you, therefore, how much? Okay, good. You dropped Not good that she missed it necessarily, but good that she wagered everything. He picked Jeffrey the Giraffe. Sorry, that's wrong. It'll cost Bad you $6,000. you are at 1200 All right, Buzzy's got this one. I think he, I think he knows it, too. And he wrote down, who is Tony the Tiger for Frosted Flakes? Yes, indeed. That's the correct response. And he had six. And he went for the extra dollar. Eight days over 147,803.
You know, he, he doesn't win big, but he wins games, and that's all you need to keep going. I mean, if I could make $15,000 every 30 minutes, I would do it, even if it wasn't the most impressive win. But uh, he'll get another shot tomorrow. He'll go for nine. I mean, 140000 not anything to sniff at. And uh, Jennifer Morrow put together a great... A video with the, uh, the whole Hitler talking about the end of the war and getting really pissed off. Uh, so I'll put that on the page too, and uh, you get to see that. So good game tonight. He reds Buzzy for number eight, and he'll go for number nine tomorrow. And geez, he could be at double digits on Friday. When you're looking for a mega champ, we got two. And uh, oh, this is a good time for me to thank Andrew Powell for picking this week's color scheme. Brown and orange, basically. It looks nice, and uh, it's a, an honor that I give all five-time champs. Whenever they lose, they get to pick the next week's theme. So thanks, Andrew, for that. And uh, I'm guessing he's looking to get another shot at Buzzy in the TOC. Of course, Buzzy would have to lose first, so we'll see. Uh, I guess that's it for me. We'll see you tomorrow right here on Final Wager.